Hi, this is Keith from PharmacyTechStudy.com and I'm going to go over question 10 on practice exam 10 and it's the one on the screen. It says Dr. Nguyen has ordered 500 cc of solution E in 30% strength. After reviewing your stock, you find 1000 cc of 10% and some 75% solution E. How many cc's of the 75% will you need to compound the order round to the nearest whole integer? So let's go ahead and take it over to the whiteboard here. All right, so let's go ahead and write out what the question is. So the question says, Dr. Nguyen wants 500 cc of 30% strength uh, solution E. And so after looking at stock, we find that we have some 10% and also some 75%. Now in the question, it does say that <clears throat> we have a thousand CC of 10%, but that's just thrown into the question to um, fool you into thinking that you need to run an algebra formula on this, um, but the easiest way to do this is actually with an allegation. And so we'll go ahead and get started on that with a, a tic-tac-toe grid here. So you put your lower strength you're working with in the bottom left, higher strength in the uh, top left, and then you put your desired solution in the middle. So looking at these two, um, We'll go ahead and figure the difference between uh, what we have and what we need uh, going diagonally. So this way we have 20, and this way we have 45. And those represent parts of uh, these solutions. If we mix that all together, we'd come up with the desired solution there in the middle. And so at this point, what I see here is uh, this ratio, 20 parts and 45 parts, um, I can uh, <clears throat> I can take that down a little bit because they're both divisible by 5. And so if I divide them by 5, I get 4 and 9. And what that does is it gives us a little bit easier amount of numbers to work with. And also, it doesn't change the ratio. So what this means is... If I take 9 parts of 10%, 4 parts of 75%, and mix it together, I would get 30%. So that gives us a total of 13 parts. Okay, so from there, I'm just going to write here ratio. Because it's not really a fraction, it's more of a ratio. And uh, I just want everybody to understand um, how I reduced it and how it's okay to do that. So now I have 13 parts, and I want 500 cc's. So I take 500, and I divide it by the 13 parts. You could either do it that way, or you could write 500 over 13. Either way, it equals 38.46 cc per part. Okay, so now I know that's how much is going to be in each part. So I go back up here and I see that I need four parts of the 75% because in the question it only asks how many cc's of the 75% will you need. So I just take the 38.46, I multiply it by 4. What that gives me is 153.84. And then at the very end of the question it says round the answer to the nearest whole integer. The nearest whole integer just means the uh, nearest whole number. In this case that would be 154. So it's anything this way the decimal rounded up. So that's our answer. It's 154 cc. And in this case if we go back to our question that is answer A.